What's up, it's you, Fartax Video. We have a Mega Charizard X Sweep. We are continuing our journey to get all the Mega Pokemon done for Sword and Shield comes out. Man, we are down to only 10 Mega Pokemon down. We're actually been pumping them out lately. And th this got suggested so many times. Like, this was just a mean, like, tough claw scratch. So I decided to give it a go, and I come up with a pretty fun strategy. And I really hope you people enjoy. Now, I've done Charlander, I've done Charizard, Charizard Y, and Charizard X now. So the only Pokemon i got to do is Charmeleon. So we'll probably do that one in the future sometime. Uh, links in the description if you want to check out that Charmander sweep. Uh, I may put some other ones in there too. All right, now, real quick strategy at the start there. And we're just going to be jumping straight into the battle. And I really hope you enjoy. So we got Fire and Flying type. And when it Mega Evolves, it gets a Dragon type. So, uh... We're not really going to be making use of its typing like it's fire. I'm going to give you a clue. We're not going to be really making use of its fire and dragon typing so much. We want to go somewhere else for that. But uh, I'm not going to spoil that. So looking at its abilities, we've got Blaze and Solar Power. They're not going to help me at all with the Tough Claws because I'm just going to Mega Evolve you know, straight away to get that Tough Claw. So this time, I'm not going to be using its uh, prior ability. So having a look at the stats. Oh, you guys are roasting me the other day saying like Mega Pokemon don't get like a boost in their health. I, I, I do know that, guys. I'm just thinking it would be like cool if they're happy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, Charizard's got a very nice special attack and uh, very nice speed. Its attack isn't all that bad, but when it gets into a Mega, it gets 130 baits and 130 special attack, which is really, really nice. So we're going to be making use of its mighty attack, and its speed stays the same too. Its speed's all right. We're really, like, just concerned about its attack and stuff. Now, having a look at its other stats, obviously, its health, guys, its health stays the same, all right? Its health stays the same, and uh, its special defense also stays the same as well. So Scratch is a very, very weak move. It's only four, 40 base power, and it's a normal type move, right? So even with the tough claws and stuff, I still have to obviously, you know, bolster my stats or come up with some sort of strategy to make this work. And obviously, like, stuff counters are like ghost types, steel types, you name it. Anyway, people, if you've got a Mega Sweep you want to, uh, you know, input to the channel or just uh, put forward, leave below in the comment section of the video. Make sure it's one we haven't covered yet because we've only got 10 left. So I'm thinking how long we got the Sword and Shield real quick. I think we got about four weeks or something like that. So we got 10 left for four weeks. I'm pretty sure the dream is actually going to happen. Anyway, people, drop a like on the video for that big, mighty, slashy scratch.
Okay, people, let's check out the strategy for this team. We had a full bank of six Pokemon for this team. So firstly, we had the Starmie and the Charizard. Now, the Starmie is quite a key play here because I thought to myself for a long time, we have Scratch and Belly Drum. That's really, really good with Tough Claws, but I kind of want to make Charizard actually a normal type so I can get Stab Scratch instead of being a Fire and Dragon. So we had the Starmie with Camouflage turning itself into a normal type, and then I had my Charizard mimic the Camouflage so then it could turn itself into a normal type type and get stabbed now we had the protection of substitute to obviously uh, you know protect us against any status or just any z moves or anything like that or anything faster and we have belly drum to bolster our attack to plus six now the starmie also had ally switch which came in uh, fairly handy and we had some other pokemon too we had like a follow me jirachi a uh, helping hand stuff like that now the, we had a uh, mr mime with all the guards wide guard quick guard uh, ally switch and psychic terrain very useful uh, definitely the quick guard came in handy in this battle I think I've used Mr. Mime before. Soundproof is actually a really nice ability too on the Mr. Mime. Now we had a Blast, so it's actually a couple of these Pokemon events and Pokemon from Colosseum as well, so it's good to use them. Unfortunately, the Blast was very, very limited for the moves I could use. Like, I couldn't use any, like, breeding moves, so I really only wanted it to follow me. So we had Follow Me, Protect, Attract, and Substitute, and we had the Brindo Berry there, Max Health and Max Defense. So it's a fairly bulky Pokemon. Now the Magma was the Everlight. It actually, like, it sponged that um, Head Smash at the end. Did you guys see that? Um, uh, max Health and Max Defense, Everlight, Flame Body, Helping Hand, Follow Me, Leah, and uh, Will-O-Wisp. Now, obviously, uh, that was another Pokemon, too. I could only get, like, a limited amount of moves, so I gave it Leah, and, man, it was absolutely awesome. Hope you enjoyed it, people. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.